The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our latest installment of Webinar Wednesday. Uh, we are excited to have Fronius here this week. Um, before we get started, we're going to have a quick introduction from our VP of Business Development, Jeremy Duchin, who's going to talk a little bit about Solagent, and then we'll pass it over to Fronius from there. All right, thanks, Nadia, and good morning to everybody. Um, I will keep this brief, but just wanted to say a few words. Um, some of you may have, have heard a little bit on, on the intros about, um, about Solgen. Um, so I will kind of hit on some of the highlights. Um, we, you know, I think most of you know that we are the largest pure play solar distributor in the U.S., um, but we have, we are a private company and we really have a mindset of being full partners with our customers. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, we do everything that we can uh, that used to, to focus on equipment, but really in the last few years, we've branched out into many different areas, into financing, into designs, and the feasibility studies and software uh, to help you uh, design your, your systems and, and look at shade analysis. Um, and so, you know, our core competency, uh, still we provide amazing equipment and, and really vet our, our equipment partners. You can see several of the equipment partners uh, whoops, I will just go back there. Um, so, uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a Mac user. Um, so, uh, you can see, you know, we have a national footprint, uh, all 50 states, 45 countries. Um, and, and down at the bottom, you can see uh, our financing partners. And if you haven't considered financing with us, I highly, um, you know, advise having that conversation, uh, you know, from Hero to Wide Green, Sungate, Spruce, uh, Clean Fund for your commercial projects. Uh, those are the things that really make a difference in our, our dealers' lives. Um, and we do it in a way and really walk you through the the, the um, the financing and the paperwork um, to make it really easy for you, and in most cases, you don't pay anything down. So it's been um, it's been a major benefit for a lot of our installers. Um, here's our you know our national footprint. We have you know warehouses: Sacramento, Cranberry, New Jersey, Chino, Hawaii. Um, in addition, I just want to, to say thank you to all of our Solagen Elite dealers who are on the phone today. Um, Solagen Elite is our um is our loyalty program <clears throat> for uh you know for our top dealers and it really has provided a lot of benefits and everything from cash back to software here's solagen sky which is our new site survey app uh which is essentially the, the same functionality as the solmetric sun eye um, and allows you to do shade analysis right on the roof with your customer and actually have a really effective uh tool for closing the deal um, in addition Solagen Elite has uh, an elite training portal. Um, it provides feasibility studies and uh, a free Aurora Shade report. Um, and so there's just a lot of different benefits that come from this. Um, you may have received an, an invite to apply. It's an invite only program if you have um, talked to your, your account manager. Um, the last thing I want to say is that you know we have all these different services, but uh, I think it, it's so so easy to you know always have a conversation about i need this module i need it at this price um, and i think we what we strive to do is we strive to have that conversation with you on all the different value adds um, and so i encourage you to have that conversation with your account manager uh, to discuss the, the 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 benefits and you know of, of financing and feasibility studies and the software um, and, and let them you know think about how they can help grow your business with you um, as partners because that's what we're what we're really really good at. Um, and with that, really happy to have Fronius on the line, um, and uh, you know great great product. And it's we have a lot of dealers who really love Fronius. Um, I will hand it back to uh, to Nadia to discuss uh, some of our elite promotions. Thanks, Jeremy. Um, just really quickly, just want to let people know um, that we do have um, the Solagen Elite program going through the end of the year, a promo. Um, if you buy Solaria Outback and Iron Ridge, you get a free fisheye lens um, that is put on the iPhone. That is what you use to um, use Solagen Sky or uh, shading app. And with that, I am going to pass the mic over to Brett at Pronius. Just give me one second to make him the presenter. Um, 
also let me let everyone know that we will send out a copy of this presentation as soon as we're done. So no need to scramble to get everything written down. We will be sending you a PDF of the presentation. And uh, Brett, let me know this is going to be about a half an hour presentation, and then um, we're happy to do um, Q&A at the end. So um, if you guys have questions as you go, you're welcome just to put them into the chat box if you want to write them as you think of them. Um, and then we will just go through all the questions and answer them as soon as he's done. All right. And with that, I will hand it over to Brett. Okay, great. Thank you, Nadia. And thank you all for attending. I appreciate your time. And we'll uh, give you some new information on Fronius and our direction going forward into 2018. Um, we're going to see a lot of uh, new products coming, a lot of products evolving, uh, both in the three-phase uh, solution uh, set as well as uh, single phase residential. We're also going to be um, beginning to bring and integrate our storage solution that we have uh, have already in place in Europe and Australia. So we're going to become a, a larger footprint. You're going to see a lot more uh, of Fronius and you're going to see a lot more uh, new products coming forward. So uh, we'll do some real simple stuff at the beginning here and just kind of review who, who we are at Furnius and where we've been uh, in the uh, uh, solar market, especially here in North America. We're one of the first um, and we have uh, been one of the innovators as well. So uh, when you look at Furnius, it's a company that was founded in uh, 1946 and we're kind of unique because we're still privately owned. This allows us to be a little different in how we approach the markets. Uh, one thing that we've done is uh, we've decided to be safe in how we produce and design. All of our production and design and manufacturing, whether it be mechanical or software, is done in Europe. Uh, so Western business practices, Western accounting practices, rule of law all apply to all of our, our products and processes. Um, because we are a, a privately held company and have you know, roughly over 70 years of existence, um, we're stable. And we've done that by being right sized for organic growth, uh, not just a smash and grab uh, uh, type company that comes in quickly. Uh, for profits. Um, we are positive cash flow and one of the reasons why we have a positive cash flow even though there are some challenges in solar at times, um, we're diversified. We do uh, solar, storage, uh, charging, which was our, our a nascent uh, uh, ability, and also uh, automated welding. So we've got a stable platform going forward and uh, looking forward to uh, continuing to be a, a strong vendor here in the North American market. Um, you know, one of the things that I said, the last part is our diversification is one of the things that makes us uh, more powerful, I think, than a lot of the uh, other products. Uh, power conversion and power flow is, is the common uh, bind between welding, storage, and, and, and our, our solar inverter conversion. Um, we're passionate about clean technologies uh, because we're driven by uh, ethics and, and beliefs, uh, not just by uh, cash flow. Uh, we can focus on markets that uh, that are of uh, stable and and have growth potential uh, that not necessarily everybody else can be uh, patient with. Um, we have winning technologies, and we're going to turn our all of our visions into reality. So we have strong collective values. Uh, build to keep a profitable business for the long haul um, with over 70 years of backstory and uh, a nice diversification. Uh, a quick. Uh, kind of ethos for us is our 24 uh, hours path to sun. Uh, we're going to generate, storage, distribute, and consume energy, and we're going to be in all parts of this uh, uh, spectrum so that we can provide renewables throughout the entire uh, day. Um, so the dynamic growth, uh, continued evolutionary products and solutions are going to be coming even faster in, in 2018. Um, we are uh, a, a, a major player uh, with 2.2 gigawatts installed globally. Um, most of these are in smaller inverters. Uh, we're not a large uh, inverter utility scaling player, so that's a lot of inverters uh, to make up that number. Um, so we're going to keep that uh, number positive and keep it growing. Uh, we're available in 60 countries. Um, USA is uh, based in uh, uh, Portage, Indiana. Um, but we also have a new facility here in South San Francisco for um, product management, research, and development. So we're going to keep evolving our products both on the software side as well as the hardware side. Uh, again, everything is manufactured locally in Europe, uh, so we control the process soup to nuts. 
Um, we're located in the U.S. Um, repair facility is in the U.S., so when you do have an issue and you do need a, a, a replacement inverter or a board level uh, exchange, um, it goes to Portage, Indiana or comes from Portage, Indiana. Um, R&D and solutions management it will be here in San Francisco mostly because of uh, the, the software and some of the other technical companies that are here in, in Northern California. So what is the Sphronia smart solution going forward? Um, we're basically going to uh, have a philosophy of maintaining least cost, uh, least component count, highest reliability. Um, visibility uh, and smart capabilities uh, to interact with a more dynamic grid as it goes forward. So our solution is, is a collective solution. Uh, we try to aggregate everything at the best level possible to maintain high reliability and uh, a, a cost point that is acceptable going forward. Um, next generation of solar is gonna have to be more dynamic as, as we become part of the grid and not just a, a an additive to the grid. Um, so collective collective design of the system is gonna become quite important. Shade mitigation, NEC compliance, best performance, state-of-art monitoring, low numbers of components, lease labor, and simple to install are all uh, built into our next generation products that you'll be seeing shortly. Okay. Um, the basic string inverter is what we're all familiar with as we grow uh, to match and meet the NEC code requirements, both uh, at array level uh, 2014 and module level 2017. We're gonna be coming out with compliant uh, products that are uh, uh, easy to manage uh, and uh, go in with a uh, least amount of cost and labor. Um, so this implies both having rapid shutdown boxes, having solutions for at the module level as well, but also having monitoring and, and, and uh, more uh, design capabilities. What we're gonna add in the near future is gonna be a, more of a, uh, a smart meter that'll allow you to do more uh, intelligent uh, applications uh, for either a curtailment or, or, or even working with a smart household, smart appliances. So that's gonna be the next uh, you know, products that will be showing up into the market. Um, and we're gonna be uh, working through that process and giving you a nice reliable product that doesn't take a, uh, an arm and a leg uh, to, to buy and, and 10 hours to install. Um, so for now, uh, the new products uh, will kind of go uh, on, on a couple of levels here. The rapid shutdown box, we have one that we offer for the array level 2014 NEC code at 600 volts. So that will work with our, 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 our single phase product lines, the Primos, small and large. Um, for 1,000 volts, uh, we use third-party third, uh, products at this point. Uh, somebody like Innovative um, will work fine with us, and there are some other guys out there that we have qualified and can help you install as well. Um, big things that are coming um, are more about providing uh, uh, um, reduced labor costs, uh, reduced installation times, um, more uh, uh, O&M capabilities, so simple things like adding MC4 uh, connectors and cables to the inverter uh, will allow you to uh, meet uh, the 2014 code by keeping the inverter itself uh, in a uh, relative position of about one foot of the array. So then you don't have to buy the, a, a rapid shutdown box. The inverter itself becomes a rapid shutdown box. Uh, the uh, WIPs or, and MC4 uh, cable connectors uh, allow for, for rapid installation. They also allow for rapid um, um, O and M. Uh, we've added the shade cover as well for harsh environments. Uh, it, basically, what that will give you is the ability to have zero tilt and install the Simo inverter flat on the roof next to the array or even inside the array uh, without having a large uh, shade footprint. So we're giving you a couple of ways uh, to uh, attack the, the uh, commercial rooftop. Um, simple but powerful. Smart meter, as I said before, is going to start allowing us to reach inside uh, the house and become both a consumption and a load uh, uh, data processor. Um, the FSP and the SOS programs are digital uh, uh, O&M uh, uh, products that will allow you to enhance margins because you'll spend less time on the phone 
with our service and also less time ordering parts. Solar Web is also uh, going through a revamp. That whole digital sol solar portal will have more capabilities and 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 grow as as we bring our new products in 2018. Um, as I mentioned, there's two uh, duos. Uh, one is um, uh, two strings, and the other one is uh, uh, the Quattro uh, for four strings. Uh, those are available now and uh, ready to go. Um, so again, uh, we are the best choice. High, re high reliability, least component count least labor with straightforward installation, digital O&M, and that's the FSP program and the SOS program. So you can actually go out and service with one truck roll. You don't have to have two truck rolls because that's a, that's a huge consumption of fixed costs. Um, we enhance your margins uh, by using our products. Uh, balance of system costs, high integrations, uh, do, we try to eliminate that as, as much as possible by reducing SKUs and reducing uh, part count. Um, we can uh, oversize our inverters 150%, allowing uh, you to uh, maximize your, your, your yields. Uh, free online monitoring platform, special project pricing is available when you, when you contact us. Again, uh, ease of labor, um, easy, quick to install, user-friendly user -friendly hinge-mounted snap-in inverters. Uh, simple, lightweight inst installations, potential one person can put it on the wall. And again, uh, with the whips and some of the new products that are coming out here, you can go from a single SKU. You can have one inverter that can either be optimized or a traditional string inverter, depending on the installation that you're looking at. Um, our customers are always bidding equipment. Um, we're going to give you a, 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 a little bit of a, a, um, a capability, more competitive, a margin enhancing, higher performance, minimal labor, uh, digital uh, O&Ms uh, were the right size, right features, and right for profits. And again, uh, large isn't always better. More features isn't always better. Um, it's better to be um, uh, the right size uh, for uh, the particular project. So uh, in front of your power classes, uh, if you're familiar with the Galvo, uh, the, uh, the Primo, the Simo, um, we're basically between 10 and 24. Uh, in, in the SIMO, I'll, I'll stick on that one. We have an integrated DC disconnect. We're going to be talking about and bringing in an AC integrated disconnect at some point. Um, innovative installation concept. Again, the snap inverter allows you to leave the, uh, the, the installation uh, body on the wall or on the roof without having to, to take it off. Manufacturing um, for simple uh, O&M. So total cost of ownership, liability, flexibility, uh, innovative design, uh, collective feature set. Uh, again, we're, we're identifying what it takes to do uh, and comply with NEC codes as well as be uh, one of the best uh, yielding systems out there. Instead of adding more granularity, we're adding the right amount of granularity. Um, solutions, um, solar web, FSP, long-term um, support for our products. Field service is available uh, along those lines. So again, light, deployable, uh, roughly 80 pounds for the for the SIMO. Uh, we have two MPPTs. We're NEMA 4X. We're zero tilt capable. Uh, we have fuse, touch fuse, safe uh, uh, fusing inside the inverter, uh, so you can reduce your costs on combiner boxes. Uh, we can do uh, multiple, uh, more than uh, three strings per. Uh, um, uh, MVT by the coner uh, by the combs, uh, precombiner combs, and uh, space in the DIN rail for over voltage protection. Uh, so we're giving you a little bit of space and a little bit of capability. The integrated power line communication. This is the Simo Advance. This is a product that's coming this year. Um, what this allows us to do is to take advantage of module level uh, components uh, for rapid shutdown and turns us into a right sized. Um, uh, NEC uh, 2017 compliant product. Uh, and again, this can be either uh, turned on or turned off. So this one inverter can be a traditional inverter or a optimized inverter. Again, reducing your SKUs, reducing your costs. Um, one of the big differences uh, when you look at us and say a, a, a leading uh, uh, optimized version is we reduce that co component count. And on the commercial roofs, the roofs themselves, um, if you apply during the 2414 code, 
you can apply the SIMO with the WIPs and not have any um, rapid shutdown boxes just due to co-locating the inverter uh, within one foot of the array. And the paper statement is 2019. This will go to a module level, but you know it's always AHJ dependent. It might go to 2020 uh, or longer, depending on where you are. So all, all, all these um, uh, SIMOs have two PowerPoint trackers allowing you to have the uh, same number in series on each module, uh, MPPT. You can have different string lengths on different MPPTs, so you can have a variation on the roof. Uh, you don't have to follow uh, a simple and traditional uh, stringing uh, process. Um, wide voltage range, so uh, we have a lot of capability uh, from 200 to um, 1000 VDC, uh, multiple PowerPoint trackers. Um, we can do several different options on grid types. Uh, we also have the 208 versions available, um, so up to 15 kilowatts, which is a nice niche product, which will allow you to to access agricultural um, some, some and some other um, uh, facilities. So we're looking for the right product for the right size and the right application. Um, again, uh, for three phase thousand volt, we have uh, a group of third party capabilities um, and reviewed products that can be used with the SIMO. Um, our data capabilities up to 100 inverters, uh, Modbus spec, uh, Wi Fi, Ethernet capable. Um, we're, 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 we're on the CEC list now, so in phase one, we're working on phase two. Uh, so we'll be good to go as that comes uh, ready next year. Um, it's our primary uh, focus is to keep our inverters compliant and, and make sure that they get on that list early so there's no disruption in the supply chain for you and your projects. Um, as, as functions and supports grow, uh, we'll be monitoring and evolving the SIMOs as well. Um, so this is just a quick checklist on the CEC. Everything is available as of today and listed. Uh, the one application or one, one, one uh, item I would point out is the 15 kilowatt 208 SIMO is only listed for 208, not 240. Uh, so that's the only kind of oddity. Other than that, uh, we're good to go for any type of uh, uh, project. So collective rooftop design. Um, there's a lot of different designs out there, especially in the uh, commercial space. A lot of different uh, um, requirements, uh, setbacks, uh, size of, uh, of, of array uh, makes it a little more challenging than a traditional square uh, ground mount or something that you've been floating on the ground. So what are you trying to figure out in the harsh environment of a, of a rooftop is you know, thermal cycling is big. You're very hot in Arizona on top of a roof. Uh, high component counts can 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 cause uh, issues, uh, so you want to minimize that. Uh, commercial systems are larger and critical to industry, so uptime is incredibly important. And your truck rolls are expensive because they're larger and sometimes uh, farther afield uh, in geographic spacing. So the snap inverter. Uh, from Furnace can do long-term reliability, low-cost, simplified maintenance, and we can again improve your margins by not having uh, extra time spent on identification and location of issues. Um, easy to install, no power electronics, no mapping, no labeling. You know, much faster, and it's all about fast and 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 correct. Uh, we can uh, decrease the time on the roof, which then helps you on uh, your uh, your labor, so that there's no issue issues with um, problems or, or injury. Um, the only moving part or the only part of the inverter is, lo is located on the ground so you don't have to climb the roof every time or you can put it on the roof and, and in, a disrupt in a distributed way so that it actually is right sized for the roof depending on the strange configuration of that particular roof. All right, so the new products are, are pretty simple, but they're pretty powerful. We're actually installing the MC4 cables here in North America. The shade cover is, is a shade cover, right? So we're gonna offer that with, with a 24 kilowatt power class or any, any power class uh, for the shade cover. We're gonna start with a 24 kilowatt uh, uh, power class for the, for the whips. That's the most popular. Um, so we can uh, we can make a change on that if there's a particular uh, job or, or 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 commitment that we can make we can make changes since we're doing the installations of the cables themselves here locally. 
um, mandatory setbacks, service pass, several rays, all challenge designers on the roof. It's it's not the same as a, a simple ground mount or a, a traditional uh, single phase residential building. Everything is exaggerated, right? So the shade cover itself um, is is designed uh, for longevity um, and it's designed for harsh weather. Uh, uh, so that we receive protection, gives you insurance, uh, protects the power electronics, so you're going to have more longevity by using it, and also allows you to do the zero tilt. It's uh, aluminum, and it's formed. It's not uh, connected in any way. It's out of one piece sheet of aluminum. It's powder coated. It's less than 10 pounds. Simple and quick to install. Uh, basically, uh, install it by the strut. Um, and use the same type of attachment uh, materials that you use uh, for the inverter itself. Uh, minimizes the thermal gain on the in inverter chassis, again, extending the life and yield. Uh, allows zero tilt in a row, reducing uh, racking and labor costs. Uh, results lower temperatures, more power, more energy, more longevity. So we've designed it so that you can just take a couple of pieces of strut and extend that strut and put the inverter on the strut, or you can use a Dura block uh, again uh, to support it as well. Uh, we don't want you to go out and buy a, a cradle or anything expensive uh, when you don't have to, especially when it's 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 mounted at zero tilt. Um, the quick connects the um, MC4 cables. What they allow you to do is to comply to the 2014 requirement of rapid shutdown at the array edge um, by placing that inverter close. Uh, basically one foot from the array, um, it becomes a rapid shutdown box. And when you're working on the roof in the commercial space, you usually have a lot of different um, array sizes. So the 24 kilowatt actually turns out to be the, the right size um, for arrays uh, and, and, and a much more um, uh, desirable than a larger inverter because you can distribute the inverter itself throughout these arrays no matter what the footprint of the building is and reduce costs and uh, complexity uh, by simply using the arrays. It'll allow you, again, reduction of labor, um, zero tilt, no rack needed, detachable. Our uh, rapid shutdown would be needed in some case if it's a long distance to a subarray only. Um, ease of commissioning with a clamp amp meter, ease of troubleshooting, isolating ground faults, ground, ground faults, and no torquing of, of, of any any kind when you use these, just snapping them in. Um, simple again, uh, wall brackets, uh, zero tilt, and, and, and uh, we'll outline all of that in our manuals as well as our installation videos. Uh, so it's the balance of systems uh, that, that's going to make the or break the uh, commercial job sometimes. So by reducing that and making it more uh, stable and reliable allows you to be enter into the commercial space with more uh, confidence or actually uh, maintain profitability uh, at that level because it becomes really challenging. So what we've entered into, um, we're going to have SEI um, do a number of uh, designs for us on various buildings to show you the ability of the inverter itself to, to match and conform to various requirements of a commercial rooftop, whether it be uh, shading or size. So the SIMO is very nice because at 24 kilowatts, you can actually over voltage it up above 30. Um, allows you to do various uh, sizes of, of and shapes uh, to, to the array, uh, allow you to conform to whatever the building requires. Um, lightweight, um, you know, much less in, in weight than our, our counterparts, um, applies itself to uh, the limited roof top commercial space because of its size and allows for distribution. Uh, we use cooling fans, it helps uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, keep the, the, the unit working over time in, in harsh environments, switch and shade covers, make it simpler uh, and, and, and more robust and allows you to uh, reduce conduit runs, especially on the DC cabling and the DC conduit uh, because of location of the inverter to the array. The smart meter is, is, is coming out. Um, it's also going to be matched up with our, our um, our solar web, um, the picture in the lower right, if the, wherever the bubbles go, that's what's being applied. And so we've added storage as well as self-consumption 
and grid consumption. So you can get kind of a visual graphic of where everything's going. The smart meter helps you identify that. It's bi-directional, um, so what it does is allow you to do um, feed-in, self-supply, curtailment, so it's, it's useful in Hawaii and markets where that's becoming more uh, uh, relevant uh, because of the density of, of renewables. Um, it can also optimize energy man uh, management with the Fermi storage solution, so as storage comes online, our, our smart meters will be matched to it and we'll have years of uh, experience both in Europe and Australia to help us. There'll be two versions, a 240 and a, a 480. Um, this is a, a little bit of a detail on the smart meter. Uh, simple installation. Uh, this is an install unit. You'd have to have it in a protected environment or in a protective cabinet. Um, it's 16 to 12 AW standard uh, uh, conductors operating temperatures again inside. Uh, the data manager software version is 3.7 0.31 or later. So most of the Kirkland units out there. So what you'll need is um, you'll need three CTs. Um, and so we can use it on the SIMO 208 or we can use it on the SIMO uh, 480. Uh, this can be retrofitted now and with simple voltage supplies. So when you're using the CTs, um, noisy environments are always a challenge. So we want to make sure it's as, uh, it's as least amount of noise as possible. Uh, not too far uh, uh, of uh, um, a distance to travel. Uh, use twisted pairs um, rated for 300 volts or 600 volts and, and shielded if possible. CTs, again, the biggest thing you got to watch is which way the arrow is going so you don't install them backwards. Um, and you can use jumpers um, to uh, short the cable uh, from the terminal mark to the work dot if you need to do that as well. So this is something that we're working on with the storage unit. Um, this allows you to see power from the grid, power to the battery, and uh, consume directly and state of charge. So you have all of your information right here. And as time of use becomes more uh, relevant, uh, looking at the edges, uh, not just simple production, and looking at complementary technologies are going to become more important. Um, so simple configuration uh, for the smart meter. Um, yeah, this, this would be set up as basically a load uh, 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 and inverter, the net, the whole net of the system to, to see what you're producing and consuming and, and going from there. This would be more for a specific load. So if you just wanted to see exactly what is being uh, consumed uh, at, at the house itself. Um, so FSP and solar online support are both programs that help uh, you perform your job a little bit better, more digitally. Um, they're used in conjunction with so, our so, solar web. So, so uh, S, SOS allows you to, from your phone, to basically uh, interact with service and support by entering the serial code and the uh, failure code or the code that's on the inverter. It will automatically give you um, uh, uh, guidance and can have you repair it immediately. Or if it, it becomes a more of a complex challenge, it will have you call the, uh, the, uh, the service support guy. So again, we're trying to keep people off the phone as much as possible to get your job done and move on to the next job. Uh, and that capability is the first part that is available to everyone. Um, as you move into the FSP programs, there'll be different levels there that give you different complexities and, and different uh, abilities uh, to do servicing. So it's available 24-7 on the SOS. Um, doesn't matter because it's automated. Uh, you can call. It will also direct you to call uh, from uh, uh, the line itself. So it's becoming more intelligent and uh, supporting you guys the best way possible we can. If you do sign up, and one of the things you, you do for us, there are two levels to uh, the FSP program. Um, you can get enhanced reimbursements on, on visits, but also if you sign up, um, and install the system uh, to solar web, basically put it on solar web, uh, you can get a, a rebate as well on a quarterly basis. Um, no hotline waiting, ready to go. Uh, selected components, replacement parts, quick click away. If you need to you get a replacement inverter, you could do it all digitally and not even talk to somebody. So this is, a, this is a, I think, a, a, a positive movement for the service side, and it makes us more efficient uh, for our, our customers. Um, so the 
Fernius Solution Provider Program, there's two levels. Um, the second level, which we call FSP Plus, has, has uh, some of the most uh, uh, appealing uh, capabilities. Um, traditionally, you could take up to two truck rolls to do one job. I got to take it off the wall, then I got to wait for it to be delivered, then I got to put it back on the wall. Uh, FSP uh, Plus will allow you to do repair on site, one truck roll. So what that allows you to do is board level exchange. Um, so we can work that a couple of different ways where you can hold stock or we can send you stock. Um, by holding stock, again, you reduce that time in the truck and can fix something immediately instead of having to return at another time. Um, and also, you get an enhanced uh, reimbursement for service and, and a, uh, uh, when you install the system on the web portal, you'll get a reimbursement as well. So um, we also have, as we're moving into the, the three-phase commercial business more, we'll come up and we'll do commissioning. We'll help you out on, on your projects. So if you're transitioning from a traditional single-phase inverter installer and you want to do some more three-phase and you want to do some commercial rooftops or ground mounts, we're more than happy to come out and support you and, and review the, the entire process. This is a, a quick uh, screenshot of the solar web. Uh, page. So again, the uh, uh, the bubbles indicate who, where the energy is coming and going from. So you have a little uh, dynamic visual indicator uh, plus all the simple uh, dashboard uh, uh, identifiers that you need on a single page. Um, great visualization allows you to do um, uh, uh, consumption uh, with the the um, Fernius, uh, smart meter. Um, Diagnosis, state codes, uh, updates, all that comes with it. So we're all trying to uh, to be more efficient. So moving it to the palm top and the compute, the digital level is where we're heading. Um, remote updates, uh, our inverters are, are capable of taking remote updates. Uh, so no longer do you have to go out there with a, uh, a thumb drive and physically install into the inverter itself a, a new piece of firmware. Um, so inside. Uh, technical and sales support, uh, we've got some guys that have been with us and one of the new things about Fronius I've seen is we do have some longevity and, 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 and deep intelligence about technology and history of the technology within our sales and service group. So these guys are, 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 are true professionals and, and qualified to answer your questions in the least time and as most accurately as possible. Uh, so again, uh, we are striving for 24 hours of sun. Uh, this is one of our installations here uh, that we're, we're testing. Um, and it basically has a bi-directional inverter with a uh, storage unit uh, that can fit in your garage. So with that, uh, uh, we're also, uh, I guess I should finish off with that. Um, we're also doing a lot of microgrids. We're actually doing a number of microgrids right now in rebuilding of the, uh, the Puerto Rican uh, grid uh, with our Simo 24 and again the size itself lends itself to a better um, solution than a larger inverter uh, so we're w working hard both on the storage and the um, microgrid side to become more of a, 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 a complementary uh, manufacturer to the grid and, in, and modernize it uh, and giving us uh, the utility the visibility to the last mile after the substation. With that, uh, I think that concludes the presentation. And if you have any questions, I'll be glad to respond. Okay, so um, great. We've had a couple questions come in. Let me um, start with those. And then um, if you guys have any more, now's the time to type them in. Um, the first one is, what type of inverter do you recommend if the existing service voltage is 240 volt, 208 three phase with high leg. Oh, well, it's one of the, I would believe one, oh. you could either, uh, the, the SIMO would be, would be sufficient. What size is the, um, the installation? We'll see if they write back and let us know that. Oh, 42, uh, 42 kilowatt. Yeah, yeah. So, so at 208, um, the biggest one we have is the 15 kilowatt unit. Um, 
so that would probably be the best if it's needs to the only the only issue with that one is it's ident it's it's on the CEC list for 208 but not 240. Okay, and the next question: If I have four to six strings, how can I fuse the strings using Simo? Yeah, so we're working on that. There's a number of ways to do that, um, whether it be fused at the array or put it into a comb or put it into a combiner box at this point. Okay, and that's all I have for now. Um, we can give it a couple of minutes and see if anything else um, pops up. Um, but just a reminder, if you guys do have any other questions afterwards, I will be sending out a copy of this presentation, and you are welcome to get back to me, um, marketing at solagent.net, and um, we can get your questions to Rudifernius or to your uh, Solagent sales rep or whoever they're for. All right, I'm not seeing anything else come in, so I think we're probably about ready to wrap it up. Okay. Um, Brett, I thank you very much for this uh, presentation today. This has been very informative, and we certainly appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to the next one with you guys. Okay, thanks so much. All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye.